Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Creatures of Etherfield, the Monsters Miniature Expansion for, well, Etherfield by Awakened Realms. This is very similar to the Monsters of Avalon box, as in, the, to my knowledge, there's no game mechanics, just miniatures. Everything you see here, just in more detail. Uh, as a quick note for people who are might be confused with their Monsters of Avalon, not every miniature has a use in the current existing game, which is the core game, for Tainted Grail. Some of them are intended for the expansions, and yes, there are more coming for those of whom that miss that. And I say that with a kind of tone because they blamed me, said they weren't going to, but then they did, so they added something extra to it. Which is still kind of an anti sort of Wasn't too much, though. So, again, box is the same size as the core game for the top and bottom, but shorter. I think it's actually shorter than the Monsters of Avalon box, but... Uh, yeah. Let's stop on that side. Ah, flip top boxes, people. Oh, please. I have no idea what the creature on the cover is. So, just like with Monsters of Avalon, so this was definitely not a shipping mistake, it comes with a what the tray looks like full, what the tray looks like empty. Speaking of which, get this lid out of the way, what the tray looks like full. I'm going to take a quick moment to actually take the tray out and flip this over so I have all the names and everything while I'm showing these off. Alright, so I'm just going to go left to right, down. Um, many of these have tokens in place, like I, I know this one, for example, did. But speaking of which, Box Knight! Yeah, I am made of cardboard, uh, or just covered in cardboard. This is adorable. Definitely made of parts, or potentially just covered in more parts. Tiny little sword and a shield. Then we have what's referred to as Sweet Scent. Lots of wings, standing on a rock. Um, has a cloak that's there. But this is definitely a harpy. Like, pretty lady. Giant bird feet. And then we've got Murder of Crows, which is somebody in a very ornate, if not military-like outfit. Also has a cape. And just crows for a head or surrounding their head. Yeah. Then we've got the Warden, which looks right out of Bloodborne. It literally looks like the stock standard version of the player character out of Bloodborne, except with a lantern instead of the weird-ass weapons from that game. We have an Aetherwolf, which reminds me literally of Fox Spirits from East Asian mythology. And Okami as well, although without her thing floating above her and the fact that she's a god. Locker, which just looks like a dresser mimic. Yay, more mimics. I always like mimic miniatures. I like different stuff. Then we have the wolfling, which I assume is just a child of the ether wolf, but is still made up differently. It's got shields on, or a shield with tassels on the one shoulder and wings coming off the back. Actually has almost a rat-like design to it. Not that rats are bad, rats are adorable. And then we've got Plank Wraith, which has a person in there, a big giant ghost-like thing, which I'm assuming is implied to be coming out of the wall, but also is very clearly meant to be a shadow. Like, its shadow is going down the floorboard, up the wall, and then comes the wraith. Love that. Reminds me of a lot of the stuff that I recall coming in Solomon Kane, which is done by the same people as Wreckbuster. And we have Moth Knight with a mask, a booty. I'm used to Kingdom Death, so whatever. But is... Yeah, it looks like it has leg warmers. I can't tell if that's meant to be the end of shorts or the top of leg warmers. Definitely a rapier and a main gouge, or at least in function. Rapier, main gouge, uh, parrying knife. And definitely looks like uh, 
stereotypical Western European aristocrat duelist. Then we have Dresser Monster. It's very clearly under Dresser. It's called Candle. Uh, it, it, do, it is holding two candles on its hands. It's got uh, a woven texture cloak, mask-like face, and is just lately coming out of a dresser. Those are its legs, even though they look similar to the scarf that's coming down. Interesting. Then we have the Masked Man. A bunch of masks in his cloak. His cloak itself looks to be more made of a grouping of tatters, at least the lower part. Cloth woven around the hat and is holding its mask by a masquerade stick. And there is a face under there. It's just very simplistic. Like, possibly more simplistic than the mask. Then this adorable fairy frog. It's just referred to as frog. But it is a frog with butterfly wings the automation which is just a bunch of machinery with a big giant maw going reminds me of the anchor enemy in control or at least its face does the, the rest of it doesn't but yeah honestly it reminds me more of a big daddy from bioshock then we've got a scarecrow, which is a person attached to, or a person-like thing. It has a very long neck, like a Skeptis or whatever they were called in Dark Crystal. It is in a robe, has these long wings with some antlers coming out of its back, and has chicken leg, feet, arms, things in a fist-like position as feet. Then we have a Nyx, N-I-X, not N-Y-X. Uh, has a swamp-like floor. There's some lily pads mixed in there and everything. Uh, that might be a raft or a pier. Has an interesting head. I think there's its face. There's potentially another face. I don't know if it's a mask or something. It looks more like a mask. The other one actually looks like a face. But it's also kind of flat, although it looks like it leaves enough room, weirdly, for the head to be there. So it's not like um, a flat top. It has some weapon-like thing or tool. And then I can't tell what's in its other arm up here, but also just has a line cloth for clothing. And seems to have almost deer-like feet. Not hooves, but just, like... Then we've got this gorgeous thing called a two-tailed fox. Definitely has two tails. And whatever that is sticking out of its back that it's, I'm assuming, supposed to look like it's being held by one of the tails. Uh, it's not really attached there too well. It's just kind of there. It's even a little flimsy. But this thing looks more like it's made of cloth or smoke. Like that whole thing. Then we've got the Chimera. I say that with a question mark because other than the fact that there's very clearly a tail coming out of the back of it, it's more just a Greek-looking woman. She's definitely got monstrous claws. It's mostly just a throne lion motif on the back, helmet, everything. I can tell where this thing was put together for the most part. So a lot of gap work filling is going to be needed, but yeah, still cool looking. And we've got the Ancient Ram. Yeah, you guys have been drinking from the Kingdom Death <laughs> Kool-Aid a bit much. Because it reminds me a lot of the Nightmare Ram. Both in the fact that it's got human hands for its front feet, I believe. Like, it clearly has hooves for the back. I don't remember what the Nightmare Ram did. Oh, some weaponry. A mask for face. Think. Definitely a normal face with masks attached to it. Yeah, a couple other masks here and there. Interesting. I'm only getting some really big miniatures because there's only four left, but it's a quarter of a box, space wise. Uh, then next we have the Tormentor. If this thing ain't based off Pyramid Head, I don't know what the hell it is. Big giant axe, plague bird mask, 
just robes and everything like that. Chains around its neck. And that axe is clearly just like something made of a large bone. And we have the Sentinel. It makes me think of if Slender Man was dressed from Bloodborne. Because it has a very similar featureless face. Uh, it has a bird skull on the end of its cane or staff. A weird ass lantern or incense burner thing. Uh, a book hanging from its torso. And then there's a bell and a bunch of keys on its back. That goes back in the box weird. Then we got the fortune teller. Probably the prettiest looking model in here. Definitely reminds me of Sona from League of Legends. It has vines down the back of her cloak. The base is gorgeous. Just a lot of embroidery in, on it and everything. Flowingness. Uh, I'm assuming this is supposed to be smoke. But yeah. And then lastly, we've got Mortis. A very extended gut, long neck, uh, three wings, possibly four. Like, for all I know, there's two over here and they just overlap, but there's definitely two separate wings over here. Uh, it's on a stick, and then there's a bunch of rose petals with some large skulls mixed in there one right there all right and that's everything just a bunch of miniatures that serve no gameplay purpose these are purely aesthetic but i can tell you from playing through and i have actually played through a full playthrough of tainted grail these help tremendously and even then i would have preferred more than one of each miniature in some cases because they can spawn more than one at a time and I think they can in the case of these two, or some of them, like the smaller ones. But still, one on the board is still enough to make you not forget it's there and give the impending presence it should have. But again, that's everything this time around. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. Either way, I'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as, would you like to see any of these painted or closer up in detail, which really would just be a painting video most of the time, or would you like to see more about this game in general, be it a detailed overview, playthroughs, or anything else along those lines, or anything else you've seen me unbox, including the other Awakened Realm games. If you'd like to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, my painting videos, all three of which I'm willing to do for Awakened Realms games that I have, and anything else you might want to see on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.